hello and uh, welcome everyone welcome to my youtube channel and in this video i'm just going to talk about uh, what all things i have published recently and uh, i mean looking at this you can also tell me like what all things you wanted to learn so i will be able to add a new playlist new videos and all so recently i tried to cover a lot of things which includes uh, node.js with the typescript type orm so when we write uh, front end with react and angular or something right and we write back end in node.js so what we do is we choose okay let's do mongodb let's do mysql postgres and all we always face a challenge while writing the queries defining the relationship and all so what we do is we define we use some kind of orm either sqlize either type orm or maybe something else but these are two which are most popular orm so i have already covered a sqlize uh, how to work with sqlize with node.js now in this playlist i'm covering how you can use type orm with node.js and i just try to change the node.js express so you will see what all changes are needed and how to define the associations in the mysql tables using type orm i mean type orm is just a, you can say a wrapper which is working to define the annotations like one to one, one to many, many to many, and it is helping you to fetch, save, and update data in the different tables. Okay, you can just uh, go around it and you can give me the feedback if you want something else in this particular playlist. Then I am covering all about Nest.js, that is another playlist which I am covering, and here I am talking about what is Nest.js and why should we use it and I mean the getting started the beginner level course intermediate and then advanced in the intermediate I'm covering no, no sorry Nest.js with all different uh, modules like how to integrate swagger module mongoose module mysql typo rm uh, with Nest.js how to write a swagger spec using just a swagger modules how to use a Nest.js with a graphql how to use Nest.js with the different microservices so it is starting from the basics writing the rest APIs then uh, how to write the swagger stack for them then connecting to the mongodb database getting and fetching the data from different mongodb tables then i'm covering the typo rm with nest.js that will help us to deal with the mysql okay this is all about uh, the nest.js then i'm talking about another playlist is about graphql apollo client server so apollo is a vendor which is providing the client side and server side implementation for graphql if you are using graphql server then obviously at the client side you just need to use some library like apollo boost apollo link to just make it configurable so that your client can talk to your graphql queries and mutations and rest all our webinars every weekend i cover okay what is new on the javascript world like es8 es9 and are coming up and in future i will be more focused on the deployment and the architecture level discussions in the videos like how we can create a microservice architecture so I just talk about how we can use a, how we can use GraphQL as a API gateway, which is not the most right candidate, but if there is a case, then it can also act like this. I was covering some metal, uh, some webinars on Nest.js and some latest features on React and React patterns. Then all the others are like HTML5 bootcamp. I, I was covering some bootcamp. Those bootcamps covers like HTML5 bootcamp, JavaScript, Node.js, React and Redux. Okay. So all these things are, I was covering. So you can see all those things in the playlist also. So I'm covering these uh, typo RM. Then you can see the application architecture. Then see, uh, GraphQL client like GraphQL for client and server using Apollo. All about Nest.js and HTML5 crash course. Apart from that, I'm just doing all these webinars to provide a good understanding and this is a big playlist about JavaScript which is covering everything about end-to-end -end JavaScript. Maybe I will be adding some more in the coming up JavaScript bootcamp and some webinars on Angular, how to use the observables in your Angular application, the different ways to consume observable data using async pipe and all. So this is what I was thinking to cover, talk to you all guys who has subscribed my channel. If you have something else, if you want something else to be covered uh, on this, just let me know. I'm not covering the very beginner level like 
okay how to write node.js code how to write typescript code how to just do a query on mongodb mysql now i'm just covering the intermediate level stuff which will help the intermediate developers to grow in their career okay thanks everyone